Welcome. In this playthrough of Marvel Champions of Card Game, we have Ghost Spider taking on an expert Sandman. So for our villain setup, we have one main scheme here. Uh, I've got our contents there. Got the Sandman card, City and Chaos, Standard and Expert cards, along with Down to Earth. Set up Search and Counter deck for the City Streets environment and put it into play. Place four sand counters on it. So the City Streets, Surging Sand, Special Ability. Place one sand counter here, discard cards from a top link counter deck, equal to the number of sand counters here. It's a hero action, exhaust a character you control, remove sand counters from here, equal to that character's attack, limit once per round per player. Then on the opposite side of here, threshold of nine, force response. After an acceleration token is placed on this scheme, deal three indirect damage to the first player. Starts with two threat, and we get one threat per turn on the villain phase. Sandman starts out with a scheme of one, attack of three. When revealed, resolve the Surging Sand's ability on city streets. Then the Sand Blast force interrupt when Sandman attacks you. That attack deals indirect damage. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve the Surging Sand's ability on city streets. And 18 health. And then for a hero, got Ghost Spider, four to one, attack two, defense of three. Uh, dizzying reflexes as a response after you resolve an interrupt or a response ability on an event. Ready go spider once per phase. Hand size of five, ten health. Alter ego recovery of three. As an action, choose to either shuffle ticket to the multiverse from your discard pile into your deck or ready George Stacy. Hand size of six on this side. Going with protection. So two power protection, three counter punches, three defiance. Then an armored vest, electrostatic armor, an unflappable. Then the night nurse, and for our allies, Spider UK, Starhawk, Clea, and Silk. Then in our basic cards, we've got our three resources. Across the Spider-Verse, Web of Life and Destiny, Spider-Man Peter Parker, Spider-Man Hobby Brown, Dum Dum Dugan, Helicarrier, and a downtime. All right, so finishing our setup, shuffle the encounter deck. Got the obligation out because before that gets shuffled in, we're going to resolve the when revealed. Uh, so surging sands gets another counter. One, two, three, four, and five cards discarded. Shadows of the past. That's nice. Master plan now or never. Advance and an assault. Then we'll shuffle this in. Then we can get Gwen set up. So six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Night Nurse, Ticket to the Multiverse, that's a keeper. Counter Punch, Web Bracelet, another keeper. Genius, that's a keeper. Um, I think we're gonna pitch all those. Two, three, Spider UK, Defiance, and Silk. So we're going to bring in our web bracelet, hero response, after you resolve an interrupt or responsibility on an event, exhaust this to draw a card, max one per event. Then use her ability, uh, choose to either shuffle tickets to the multiverse from your discard pile into your deck. And that's the choice we're making. Then we'll flip her over. Then we'll bring in Spider UK, 4 to 1, attack of 2, 5 health. When he defends against an attack, deal damage to the attacking enemy equal to the number of Web Warrior cards you control. We'll exhaust him to remove two counters. Then we'll go ahead and attack for 2, down to 16, and end our turn. We're going to keep Silk, Power of Protection, a Helicarrier, a Ghost Kick, and Dum Dum Dugan. So Sandman gets a threat, uh, goes to attack. We are going to defend. So base three coming in, uh, four, five damage. We block three. We're going to put two indirect damage over here. Then we're going to respond after we use a basic power of defense, deal six damage to an enemy, and that's going to ready us. Down to 10. And draw a card into Starhawk. Counter card. Got a dirt trap. 
Undefeated, resolve the Surging Sands ability on the city streets, and then resolve it again. Uh, one threat on that. So bring in Starhawk. Thor to one, attack for two, three health. When he takes damage exactly equal to his remaining hit points, return him to her hand. Uh, we'll thwart for one. We're just going to resolve that twice. So put a counter on it. Lose four cards. Sand clone. Three of those and a worried father. Then resolve it again. One, two, three, four, five. Rhino is gone. Then exhaust to remove two counters. Attack for two, down to eight. And Ender turn, keeping Silk again. Got a Phantom Flip, Unflappable, an Armored Vest, and our Punch. And a threat. Get attacked and defend. So three damage. Goodness, six damage coming our way. We block three. We'll put two over here. And one more over here. So he took exact damage back to our hand. We're going to respond with a Phantom Flip. After we use a basic power, move five threat from a scheme. And ready. And encounter card, Sand Smash. Uh, Sandman attacks you with plus one attack. Oh, I forgot to draw a card. Into some armor. All right, plus one attack coming in. So base four will defend, which is going to deal two damage back. Down to six. So four, four damage coming our way. We'll put one there, which means we're taking three down to seven. And since we took some damage, resolve the sands to lose four cards. One, two, three, four. And back to our turn. We're gonna bring in a vest, giving us plus one defense. And some armor, so after we defend against an attack, deal a damage to the attacking character. And then we'll attack for two, down to four. One, two, three, four, and five. Power protection, strength, web binding, Clea, and a ghost kick. Add a threat. Get attacked, we're going to defend. So base three coming at us. And we've got that blocked. After we defend against an attack, well, it doesn't trigger. Yeah, we'll do that now. Deal a damage down to three. And we'll deal six damage back and ready and draw a card. Into Defiance, that's gonna take Sandman down. So when revealed, place a sand counter on the city streets, resolve its surging sand's ability. So lose five cards. One, two, three, four, and five. Friends and family, clone and exhaustion. Now the sand wave. Let's see, when Sandman attacks you, that attack gains overkill. If your identity takes any amount of damage from that attack, resolve Surging Sand's ability on the streets and 19 health. And that was him attacking us. Now we get our encounter card. Let's see, Sandman attacks us with plus one attack. And we're going to choose just to stop that. So requirement is mental. That's what the wild's for. Uh, when an enemy would activate, cancel that activation. If it was a minions, we deal four damage to it. So we just canceled that activation. Back to our turn. We only have one card in hand. So exhaust, remove two counters. Attack for two, down to 17. And then I think we're gonna flip over and end her turn. Go ahead and keep Clea. Got George now, Energy, Spider-Man, a web bracelet, and a ghost kick. 
So we've got Threat. He's going to scheme for base one. Reveal this card. Attach to Sandman. When you would do any amount of damage to Sandman, discard this instead. Resolve the Surging Sand's ability on city streets. So he schemed for one. And counter card. Sand Slide. Place two sand counters on city streets, then resolve its ability. If at least one Sandman card was discarded this way, we get stunned. So that goes up to five. One, two, three, four. Uh... We are not stunned, no Sandman cards. We did go through the deck. So we get an acceleration. After tokens placed on there, uh, three indirect damage. So we'll go down to four health. And do some shuffling over here. All right, we're going to heal for three, going up to seven. We'll bring in Clea, thwarted one, attack of one, two health. When she's defeated, shuffle her into her owner's deck. She'll come in and attack for one. To take care of the sand form. Do the surging sands. So it goes up to six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sandform, Panic in the Streets, Rhino's gone again. Exhaust, remove two counters. Bring in George Stacy. T events attached to him may be played as if they were in your hand as an action. Exhaust team, attach an event from your hand face down here to a max of three. Then we're going to add a Ghost Kick to him. And... Ponder if I want to flip over or not. I think I'm going to stay Alter Ego one more round. We'll keep Spider-Man here. Defiance, Parental Guidance, Counter Punch, and Spider-Man, and a Phantom Flip. So we add two Threat. Then Scheming for one. Just one. Encounter card, surge, and exhaust our identity. Bummer. Let's see. Choose place an acceleration token on the main scheme, exhaust a character you control, and spend a resource of any type. Um, all right, exhausted. Spending a resource because I don't have what it takes to pay for him. Then I'm going to play Spider-Man, Thwart of Two, Attack of One, Three Health. Playing only if we control a Web Warrior, which we do. When he leaves play, discard the top three cards in counter deck. Deal damage to the villain equal to the number of boost icons uh, discarded this way. He's going to thwart for two. Put the right counters out. We'll exhaust or move two counters. We'll put in a phantom flip down here, and then I guess I'll flip over. And end her turn. One, two, three, four, and five. Phantom flip, cross the spider verse, web binding, ticket to the multiverse, and a punch. Get to threat. Sandman's going to attack. We're going to defend. So we got a base three, uh, four, five damage coming in. We block four, so we're taking one. Surging Sands is going to be three cards. We defended, so we deal a damage down to 16. We're going to spend two resources for a Phantom Flip to remove five threat from a scheme. Ready, and draw a card to Web of Life and Destiny. Then encounter card, friends and family, an obligation. 
Well, in hero form, increase the resource cost of each event you play by one. Alter ego action, discard an identity specific card from your hand to discard this obligation. And back to our turn. Well, we're going to bring in a support card, Web of Life and Destiny. Ignore this card's resource cost if your identity has a Web Warrior trait. After Web Warrior ally leaves play, choose a player. That player draws a card. We are going to have... He'll remove... Well, we're going to attack for one. That's going to finish him off. When he leaves play, discard the top three cards in counter deck. Deal damage to the villain equal to the boost icons. Two, three. So that's going to be five damage there. Down to ten. Then we can draw a card. Into a counter punch. And we get an encounter card and shuffle. And Zoss to remove two, fort for one. She gets shuffled back in. Attack for two, down to eight. Oops. Spend three cards for our ghost kick to deal six damage. Down to two, which readies us, and we attack for two more, and that's going to be it for the Sandman. So I guess instead of using him to remove two more, I could have attacked for two more also and drawn into another card with a genius because of the web of life. The Ghost Spider able to take care of an expert Sandman. As always, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.